Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Book Workshop. I finally managed to get my hands on the new Domino 500 connector system. Uh, Festival UK have sent me uh, the full set uh, so that I can demonstrate it to you. Now it's important to remember that with this system uh, you're using panels which are at least 18 millimeters uh, thick and no thicker than 28 millimeters. So the set comes uh, with a pretty uh, clear pictorial instruction sheet. The only words in English that I've found uh, are some precautions which tell you that this is an indoor product. It's used for uh, basic furniture or work only and it is not uh, designed as a supporting structure. In other words, you would need to use an ordinary domino in your uh, construction somewhere uh, if it's got to take any load. Now when you get the complete set you're faced with oodles of different types of components uh, and you just wonder how they should fit together. But if you look carefully at the instructions you can see uh, that all of these components are designed for four styles of joint. I've separated them out into little groups. Now we start at the end here and this is the basic corner joint and it's got these four components. Now, I don't know what they should be individually called. First will call these parts connectors, and there's various types of connector. I'm gonna call this component an expanding anchor, because just like the DF700 system, when you screw into this part here, it expands the joint in a domino hole. And I'm going to call this component a panel anchor because this is what would work with one of these connectors to anchor it in place. And for want of a better description I would call this a plastic insert and it's one of these that's used to hold the uh, panel anchor in place uh, and that holds it snugly in a domino slot. And you'll notice here there's a grub screw at the top here and it's that grub screw that when it's tightened up goes into the uh, dished section uh, on the connector uh, to hold it tightly in place. And this next one is a corner joint uh, for the LR32 system. Next we have uh, a through connector and this time the connector is actually in two pieces. And the fourth type of joint is again a through joint but this time again with the LR32 system. Now also in here is a jig which is used to drill out the hole which is needed for the panel anchors. Uh, there's the actual drill that's used and it's got a Centratec fitting on the end but you could use this in any drill. They provide a hex screwdriver, which is the right size for these grub screws. And there are plastic finishing pieces uh, which go over the, the hole uh, that's needed for the panel anchor. They also supply 20 uh, 36 millimeter long 8 millimeter dominoes. They're, they're actually used in pairs when you're doing a through uh, panel connection. Now my first demonstration will show you how to make this corner joint. So here are the components that I need and I'll be using this drilling jig and also uh, the drill that goes with it. Now I'm going to start uh, by doing the shallow uh, domino cuts into the side wall and they're going in from here so I'm having that facing towards me. Now in order to make this easier I've released my paddles on the uh, domino uh, and I'm going to use those to gauge my distance from the side for the two outer ones. My middle one uh, I've got a pencil line here which I will use. So the domino is set up as follows. I've got a, uh, my height is adjusted to 10 millimeters here. In fact, I could do it on the quick gauge here by setting that on 20, and therefore half of that is 10. My depth of cut on this gauge here is 15 millimeters. And I've got my paddle set. I'm going to do the middle one first. So that's those three domino cuts. And now I need to do the three domino cuts in the end here. Now this is the bottom and that's what I'm registering from. I'm gonna have the bottom there. I'm gonna have this facing towards me and I'm gonna put in my three domino cuts. Now this time, the depth needs to be 28 millimeters. Everything else remains exactly the same.
So there are those three domino cuts. We now need to put in those bore holes, one on this side, one on this side, and they are on the inside of the cabinet. And we're gonna use this jig. So if I just describe the way this is uh, designed, this part, this tongue goes into the domino hole, and then this part here is gonna press down on the, on the surface. And once it's in place, you then lock it off here. So here's the process. I put the tongue into the hole. I've made sure this is, is sitting down flat, and then I'm just gonna tighten that up. Next, I'm gonna use a clamp to hold this in place. And next, I'm gonna connect my hose, and I'm gonna gently introduce it into the shaft, turn the vacuum on, and make my cut. And it was as simple as that. Now, all we've got to do now is assemble the joint. I'm actually going to start by putting the uh, domino in. Now, ordinarily, this, this would be glued in. Uh, next thing we need to put in these two anchors. Remember, that middle one is for the domino. And these need to be flush, like so. And then we have a pair of these. Now, as these posts are tightened, so that uh, anchor joint is going to expand and that will hold in the hole. Now, when one has finished this, one needs to end up with the hollow facing upwards. So I'm now going to pop in these uh, two anchors, making sure that screw thread is at the top and that the hole that goes through there is in the line with uh, the domino slot. And next I'm going to slide into each of those uh, one of these additional plastic pieces. And these hold the anchors and stop them from uh, turning around. Two grub screws. I'm just going to start these off. One in there. And now our joint will come together. Now I want you to see how this uh, tightens the joint now as I screw these in. Can you see that that's tightened along there? And this one is tightening along here. Nice and tight. And I'd now finish this off with a, a pair of little plastic discs. One there and one there. And so there's that joint uh, complete. You can break this down. And those would be put in a packet with those and probably with those two grub screws. And then the customer could assemble them or you could assemble them on site. I'm now going to do a through joint. And this is the vertical piece. And uh, these will be the two side pieces. Now I've already mounted the uh, vertical piece here so I can do the domino cuts. I'm going to do uh, domino cuts that go all the way through this time. Uh, in the centre we're going to have a normal domino, in fact two of them which come together in the centre. Uh, and then on either side we're going to have uh, these through connectors. And then in each of these two uh, pieces we'll have a pair of the panel anchors with their grub screws and also the locating plastic insert. Now I've got my dominoes set up so that the uh, height of the cut below this surface is 10 millimeters. I've got my width in the normal uh, narrow setting and uh, in this case because I'm going all the way through this 18-19 uh, millimeter piece I'm going to set my uh, depth of cut uh, to 25 which will easily go through it uh, completely. Now remember, when you're doing a through cut with the domino, don't have your fingers on the far side. Now for these end twos, I'm using the paddles. So there we have those uh, domino holes going all the way through. And it's through these, at either end, we'll put these two anchors. Now we're going to tackle the pieces that come from each side. This time, uh, the domino setting still has 10 millimeters on the height scale here. And this time I'm putting the depth of cut here to 28 millimeters. This surface here is the under surface because our measurements are being taken from here just as they were being taken from the bottom of this vertical piece. Now we do the second. Now I've just brought across the two dominoes that we need one uh, on either side, which are going to go into that center slot. The way these are set up is dead easy. You take one of these uh, center connectors, undo it, and then you're going to slip one in from this side, and then slip the other half in from the other, and then tighten up. Now, just as uh, before, uh, there are several ways of tightening these up. 
Uh, you could use a spanner, you could use a normal bit holder in the end of a screwdriver, or uh, you can uh, do it the, the quick way and use a tool. And once you've got it nipped up, you need to just turn this round so that the indentation there is facing upwards. And again, I've made sure that those dishes are upright. The two ends are very simple. We've got to, first of all, put in the domino, which is going to go in the middle. And there's the other. Now, when doing these holes for the panel anchors, you've really got to make sure that they go on the inside of the cabinet. And just to remind myself, I'm going to put a mark there. Now, as a matter of interest, I've found that the action when one's doing this, uh, the cutter quickly goes through the top layer, uh, and then you've got to remember to push just a little bit harder to get it to make the recess uh, which is on the other side of the domino slot. Right, so there we have our uh, two side pieces. Next one is going in here. There's the plastic insert. Now, I'm just going to give this a little tap. And I'm going to do the same now for here. So there I've got my panel anchors in place with their plastic inserts. And I can now put the joint together. And all I've got to do now is to screw up the grub screws. And you should be able to see that as I tighten these up, so the joint will close up. And now if you look at this line here, you'll see that close up. There it goes. So there we've got our through joint. And you can see that's lined up nicely. It's perfectly flush at the bottom. And all one needs to do now is put uh, those little plastic pieces on. Now, I don't have the LR32 system, but I've tried to um, fabricate something that looks like it so I can talk about it. Basically, the LR32 system consists of a special guide rail which has uh, holes 5 millimeters in diameter at 32 millimeter spacing. And that, used with a router, uh, allows you to drill holes at 32 millimeter spacings in panels. And the sort of idea uh, for these is that you might use them for shelf supports. And these holes are five millimeters in diameter, which is a standard uh, throughout Europe, certainly, maybe in America as well. So there would be a pair of shelf supports. And these are adjustable, just pull them out and put them where you want them. Now, uh, what the connector system does, it uh, takes advantage of the fact that you've got these holes or the ability to create the holes. So you can take one of these connectors and screw it in like so and straight away uh, you've got a connector which is on a vertical panel and you would put another one in the other end there and then uh, uh, as long as you knew where the center line was you then put in your panel anchor in the appropriate place as you have done before uh, and then uh, connect up. Now for a through connector uh, the hole needs to go all the way through and you have a special uh, connector like this and basically the two parts of the connector screw into each other and the diameter here is five millimeters. So if I were to push this all the way into a hole like so that's going all the way through and I connect from the other side. I think you get the, the idea of what's happening now. We now have our connectors going all the way through the panel. This then allows one to have a pair of opposing shelves, uh, one either side, just as we did before uh, with the, the normal system. Uh, one side you'd have your panel anchor and the same on the other side. And remember, again, you'd need to have a normal domino in the middle uh, to give it some structural strength. Well, I hope that run through uh, will help you realize that this is a very simple system to use. And these diagrams shown on the uh, leaflet, which I'm sure will come with the individual components if you buy them as well, uh, th those are crystal clear. Even, even I managed to work it out. Now, all the bits of kit that come through the new bit workshop, I take them and show them to various friends and say, you know, what do you think? Uh, and I get their opinion and I try and sort of mix that in with mine. One of my woodworking friends, I went to him uh, yesterday and said, hey, look, I've got the new 
Domino 500 connector system. And he said, so have I. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this system. I can't see any uh, areas where it has any weaknesses at all. Uh, there is one little gadget which they don't provide, which they do with the Domino 700 system, and that is a connector which allows you to join, join two panels uh, end to end. Now, uh, sometimes that might be useful uh, if you can't use the big 700 system to join two panels because they're too small or whatever. Uh, it might be useful to have that capability with this. So uh, there we go. Um, joint strength, nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, it's very easy once you've constructed the joints to take things apart, put them back together again. And uh, you're not straining the wood material at any stage as you do that. Uh, breaking down, reconnecting, breaking down, reconnecting every time. So you're not going to be weakening the joint over time by doing that. So there you have it. Uh, go and take a look at the kit at your local supplier uh, or uh, go and see it at a show. If you go and see it at a show, uh, you can actually play around with some of those joints and see if you can break them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.